guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! To sail on a dream on a crystal clear ocean To ride on the crest of the wild raging storm To work in the service of life and the living In search of the answers to questions unknown To be part of the movement and part of the growing And part of beginning to understand I Calypso the places you've been to the things that you've shown us the stories you tell I Calypso I sing to your spirit the men who have served you so long and so well Aye Aye Sounds like Moo, you're right. Hi-yay-hee, hi Moo. Wow, Effingham. Hi, guys. Welcome to Bells Bargains. My name is Amy. All right. So today is, I guess, theme Thursday because I didn't get this out on Tuesday. But these crafts are super, super easy that I'm going to show you. So that's a, if you don't know that song, that's a John Denver song. Actually, one of my favorites. And um, it's just a pretty, pretty song. But it's about, what's his name? Ah! And his ship was the clip. So anyway, it's a, it's a good song. Okay, so let's move along. So today, I'm going to show you some Dollar Tree crafts and why Effingham, because everything we do on this channel is what? Dollar Tree. And... And only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a... That is correct, little Effingham. Um, anyway, so I have behind me some of the things that I've made for you today. I'm going to have to drop this. Like, how do I get it so you guys can, like, hold on. We're going to play with the camera while, while you're watching, which is not a good idea because, you know, I'll mess it up most likely. But we'll try. Okay, so if I go down a little bit, then you sort of get a better view. But then we get... Effingham gets cut off. I get cut off. Wait, whoop, we might have a happy medium there. Close. Okay, so let me just show you the things that I made. Some of the other stuff was from my video last week. So this week, I'm gonna show you everything that I made this week. And um, I'm gonna just show them to you in the order that I made them, because I don't know why I feel like that works better. So the first one that I did, remember, if you don't know, if you don't remember, if you haven't watched my channel before, I'm doing Coastal right now, and I'm going to decorate an entire bathroom with it and then sell the vignette on um, online um, because I've downsized everything in my home, and I don't need any more of this stuff. All right, so this is a bathroom set that you get at the Dollar Tree, and it's in their, you know, in their bathroom stuff, and this is just their, all I did was upscale them slightly. So I feel like this has such a coastal feel because of the sort of tan and light blue. All I did was take that white and tan um, nautical uh, jute twine wrapped around there and put one of the seahorses on it, which is the little clips that go on the thing. And then I just made the three of them matching. However, this is obviously a soap dispenser, but these two are the same. Now I added beads on the bottom of this one. Let me show you this way just so it would stand a little taller when placed in the vignette of the three of those. So I put some beads on, I gotta hold this correctly so it doesn't fall. I put some beads on it just to give it a little bit of height, but if you look at the three of them together, like there's your little um, toothbrush holder, here's your just fun little seat. These are all those um, live, shore living picks. So just this nice little vignette here, and this one stands up slightly taller, if you guys can see that, see? Okay, so that was so easy. I mean, I don't even really need to show you the video, but let's see how I made it anyway. All right, so first bathroom project. Soap dispenser and two 
toothbrush holders. However, the one toothbrush holder we're going to turn into a vase and we're going to embellish these slightly. I'm going to use some jute twine and these little clips that were six in a package. Um, I think there was three wood and three blue. Anyway, um, and some Spanish moss. This is super simple and it's going to be perfect for a nautical themed or a coastal themed bathroom. I feel like I don't even have to walk you guys through this. However, we will. So that's that um, tan and white nautical jute twine. And I think I went around there like five times. It doesn't really matter what if your personal preference is. And then I was just going to clip on the seahorse, but that clothespin on the back just stuck out too far. So begin, this began the series of trying to get that off. Anyway, it wasn't easy to get the clip off. Those the glue on the back of those is obnoxious. But on the ends of my twine, on one side I did two knots, on the other side I did one. I just like, everybody's always gluing down their ends, I like to tie it off. I think it just looks more complete that way. And then just glued my little seahorse down. That was it for this one, and pretty much um, what I did on all of them was that exact same thing. I don't know where I went just now, but I'm somewhere. Anyway, um, and so then just to repeat it, but of course the difference was in the toothbrush one, I'm going to add some florals to that one. So glue that one on. This one's done. Move on to the next one. And the what I like about the toothbrush holders is that they're half, they're the half tan, half blue. So I just took that um, twine and went around the top of this one versus the blue one where I went in the center, right? And uh, same thing, same exact process, two knots on one side, one knot on the other side, glue my seahorse down, and then that's it, right? Because these are already done just exactly the way you're going to use them, the meaning the soap and the toothbrush holder. But then the last one, which I'm going to turn into a vase, was a little bit different. So I go ahead and put my twine on it um, and put the seahorse on it. And then I take, it's the four picks from the Dollar Tree. But what I did was just putting them in there, they would kind of fall and I wanted them to stand pretty erect when I put them in there. So you'll see as I'm putting the picks in, um, I dropped some hot glue on them just to make them stand where I wanted them to stand. You'll st see here in a minute. So just taking the, I put some Spanish moss all over the top of it just with glue just sort of blam and I could still see the hole see how I could still see where I was gonna stick it in there so there it is it's like a little bit of hot glue on the bottom held it there for a second just to hold it standing upright in the bottom of the container and then just arranged them the way that I wanted them arranged I put the shorter ones in the front and the longer ones um, in the back right so okay that was it for this and then I put them up and I was looking at them together and I was like mm, mm -mm. I, oh, I, tr I trimmed off some of the Spanish moss but I was like it's the same height as the toothbrush holder because of course it is a toothbrush holder so I went back and added just four beads on the bottom just to give it a slight variance in height and that worked out perfect okay so that one's done Okay, so right, so simple, simple, simple. So let me put those back. And then the next thing that I went to after that was I took this plate, the charger that they have there that's so cool, and I nauticled it up. Now, again, this is so easy. I did nothing to the charger. I haven't even removed the sticker off the back of it, which is shocking. But what I did was the garland of beads that they have that have the little um, charms on them. So I removed the charms and I just put the beads on there, but I left them strung. And so it was super easy to place them. And then even now though, it's slightly bugging me there, but it's pretty round. And I put them on and put the, I used the tacky glue and then I could have the mobility when they were all still strung. Let me just show you. Right, so this is a charger which I think is really pretty and this is um, I just took a garland and I took the beads off of it and um, I strung them because I'm going to put them on this but it's a super simple way you guys to lay beads is to string them 
and then put them down. Okay. Anyway, and then I have this Meet Me by the Sea and this, which are the glass stickers. But I'm going to put them on here to make a cute little lean-to. But first, I'm going to put tacky glue down and glue these down with the string attached and then let them dry like, you know, um, however long they need to dry, I guess. <laughs> Um, and then to try and because I'll use the tacky glue, I'll have a little bit of time to make sure that it's like a nice, um, a nice circle. The beads are. So let's get let's get crafting. It's another super easy one, but this trick is so good, you guys. So just having the beads on a string, because then you're not individually trying to glue them down, right? Which is so time consuming. And if you string them on a string, then they're and then they're. Um, manageable right like and using the tacky glue not hot glue because hot glue dries so fast so using the tacky glue you have to be a little more patient because you have to let it dry but then i just went around and was just double checking that my circle was a circle and anyway i think this worked really well i hope you guys appreciate this trick all right and i did let it dry like overnight and then i got my meet me by the sea and I was trying to figure out, okay, so where am I going to put this? Because I want, knew I wanted to use the seahorses from and the kelp from the other one. But I had to fussy cut them out. So a little time consuming. Not too bad, actually. Um, and I just fussy cut them out. And then I was like, okay, so where am I going to lay them? When am I, how, how am I going to put these things? And so then just went to town with that. And sort of, I would, these stickers come up pretty easily. So like, oh, I want this to be under that and so on and so forth. But it was... It was so simple. Notice the seahorses aren't all at the same level, right? You want to have some depth variation in that. And then I'm lifting up his tail so I can put it under the coat. I don't know why. Just thought it looked better. Okay. And then just that final little touch. And I was like, should I put a bow? Should I do whatever? But since the natural of the beads was there, it only made sense just to use the natural little starfish um, there. And <clears throat> I tried to use a finger bow which is a great I made a great finger bow but no so I was like it just didn't look right look what do you guys think anyway it didn't so I just cut off my strings and glued um some starfish on there and actually in the end I was like gosh that's such a perfect little thing but how many do I have to have you're right three all right and then that was it this one was done but super cute super easy like I love this one I hope you guys do too and that was it my little charger lean to. Again, pretty easy, right? And then, of course, I just took a few of the charms down there. These are those um, glass stickers. And you saw, you saw how I cut them apart and used two of them. And it says, meet me, meet me by the sea. I'm realizing right now I probably didn't rub this on well enough. I didn't. I'm showing it to you guys. And I never, like, completely rubbed it on. Isn't that funny? This is, you know, because you're always in a hurry. Gotta get the crafts done. Gotta get the crafts done. Okay, so I just need to get the, um, anyway. So, meet me at the sea. See, like, right there. Just got to rub out. And if you rub it, they do come out. Okay, so I think that was super easy, super cute. I made it a lean-to. But, of course, you could um, hot glue a jute twine hanger on there. I'm going to use it as a lean-to on the shelf. So, I love that. Endless ways that you can do that charger. But I, I simple, and that's what I was going for. Okay, so then the next thing I made was I took their buckets. And this is so easy, but can I just tell you, I'm so stupid how I cut out the, the material. I put it around, I sort of cut a circle around it, when in fact, I should have folded my material into four, right? So I would have had a piece like this, and then I should have cut it to make my circle. So just remember that, like fold it and then cut the, the corners and get your circle. So all you need to do when you're doing this is get a circle, and then I just hot glued my edges. Hold on, let's watch. All right, so I have a bucket, which I sold these last year. I don't know if they're there this year. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. But this material is from this year. And so what I'm going to do is just 
give this a nice little liner um, to step it up a notch. And it's super simple. So I'm um, choosing this material because of the blue of it. I just thought, uh, I just really like this blue. I think it's really a pretty blue. And it's anchors on it. So that'll work for my seaside, right? <laughs> Close enough. Okay, so, but first I'm going to remove this because we're going to put this back on. But after I line my bucket, you'll see. So pretty simple. I'm going to take this, well, if I can get it off. <laughs> I'm going to take this off. I suppose I could use a heat gun and heat that glue up, but I don't feel like I really need to. I just got to pry it off of there. Let's pry it off and go from there. All right. There we go. See, it's just slightly glued on around there. Get this off. I'm not going to be able to put it back on like that, so I have to undo this. There we go. There we go. Close enough. Okay, because I'm going to use that back on here. Okay, this is so simple. We're really just going to take our material... And I'm going to, I want it to actually go inside of the bucket, like to cover the inside of the bucket. And then I'm just going to trim around so that it, so I can fold it under and then put my material, all right? So when you're doing this, you're looking at basically like a great big circle. So I'm sort of going to take this piece of material and just cut it down a little bit to a circle and then go all right so this is what I was saying you guys like it would have been made more sense to fold this into fourths and then just cut one corner to round but fine I mean this still worked it just visually sort of cut around it getting that circle around the bucket and then um, just yeah it's not a good circle but then I tried I was like oh I'll see then I got smart and I was like oh I'll cut it now <laughs> it still came out kind of wonky um, but it worked I just need to make sure that I was going to be able to stuff it inside that bucket and have enough material left over. So now, it almost looks like a square, doesn't it? But all I did was run a um, hot glue all around the edge and just fold it in so that it had a clean edge when I lined it inside the bucket. That was It was that simple. And then here, I'm just trying to get it as close as I can to being centered. And then I'm just taking that rope and I'm going to go back around it. Um, and I was watching so that the longer parts were were hanging over if that makes sense right so <clears throat> I just go back around it I glued it and just put dab of glue where that came together and then manipulated my material so that it was evenly dispersed around the top of it and then I started to make a tassel to put on the side I just didn't end up liking the way that that looked but you guys can do whatever you would want to do with it I just decided that uh, and eh, I really didn't like the way that looked so I took it off and just glued a starfish on there. So starfish, I guess, was kind of part of my theme today, wasn't it? I mean, I did use it in everything, didn't I? <laughs> just about. Oh, no, I guess I had seahorse in the, um, in the first one. And then here, see how I'm just manipulating that? Because you can pull it through. That rope was just tight enough. It was perfect, actually. And there it is. I think this adds so much to it. It's so adorable. I hope you guys like it. All right, again, so simple. And then once I put my string back on and add my little thing, it was so easy to um, manipulate this because it's tied already down. I think this is super cute. Now you'll notice, you guys, I was really going for the blues, right? Everything was sort of tying together. And um, I did the sea, it was the seahorses and the starfish. Because of course the seahorse were on here. The seahorse was on my little plaque here. So there's that. And these were the buckets that they sold last year. I still think they are right now, but this would be super cute. Extra roll of toilet paper, by the way, would fit perfectly. Or you can put washcloths in here or anything that you want to store on a bathroom shelf or wherever. I'm doing this for the bathroom. But this is so easy. Removing that twine that they already have, take it off, did my little liner, and put it back on there with this. Adorable. So cute. So I do, I love that. And then the final thing that I made which was, I just, it's in the, it's in the kids uh, toy section and that was the little sailboat. So, cause you have to, which is why I say, I calypso, anyway. 
So I made this, I did a couple things and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, I literally tied a knot on the end of my strings when I glued it so that it sort of gave it a finish. And then this one I tied down here and I I just realized I didn't attach my, so I don't, maybe I'm not supposed to, I don't know, whatever. I did it however. I then did a little piece here to pull it all in. And then I just took a little piece of ribbon and gave it sort of a sailboat flag because why not? And that was those are the colors, right? That tan and the blues. This doesn't have any of the blue in it, but it works with everything nautical because it's a little, it's a little sailboat, right? And they stand so nicely on their own, just a sweet little touch of decoration. And if you have grandchildren, of course, they can help you make it, right? So I thought that was fun to do. I really liked how this came out. And it just, it's a buck 25 and you get this sweet little piece of decor. So that was, that's what I made this week for you guys. Did you, did I show you how I made the, let's, you wanna see how I made the sailboat? Mm, do we need to? There's instructions. Okay, let's do it. This is so simple. So this is in like the toy area and they sell, or sometimes it's in the craft area. Anyway, they sell these little wood shop things. So I'm actually going to build this sailboat as part of my um, coastal decor. And I may put it on a stand or something. Depends on how it stands after it's built. If it just stands, I'll probably just leave it. But super simple. But what a great little decor piece for coastal. Again, do I really need to walk you through this? Just follow the directions. Um, the only thing I would say is that I, um, there was a difference between, so right here I'm putting that bottom little skewer thing in on the wrong side. So there was a difference between where the top piece went into the middle pole. Um, and so I did it backwards at first. So just look at your directions and sort of eyeball all that stuff. But this is pretty simple. And I used the wood glue that they gave us in the package. So nice to know that that works, right? And then I got out my little mini iron. I got to use it that I got Dollar Tree Plus or $5. And I ironed the sails. I did spritz them a little bit with water. And that seemed to really help get the, um, get the wrinkles out of them. So, and that was it. Like, this is just fun little project to do and um i'm happy to say that everything that they gave me in the kit worked so i glued down can you guys hopefully tell what i'm doing here like i took the string and i glued it all the way across the mass and then glued my um my sails onto it does that make sense so i glued i put a knot on both ends and glued one to the boat and one to the whatever that piece is sticking out there. Then took the little leftover piece and knotted it on two ways and then connected the two sails. That was just so that they would stand up really well. And it worked perfectly. And then, of course, after I did it and I thought, oh, it's so cute, then I was like, mm, I need to give it a little something extra, right? And so that's when I decided just to take that little ribbon and it sort of looked nautical to me um, and just make like a little flag for it. So I actually thought that was like the perfect little touch. I hope you guys do too. I hope you love the crafts this week. Tell me which one is your favorite, you guys. liked everything that I made this week. Um, again, I was stuck with, I was really sticking with the blues. Last time, last week, I did sort of the tans and the seashells with the sign and that. This week I did the blues. Who knows what I'm going to do next week. I'll probably go more into the, the turquoise-ish um, coastal looking stuff. Not sure. We'll just wait and see what I do. Anyway, that's it. So I guess, I hope you liked all that. Tell me which one down below was your favorite. 
Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video if you like it. If you don't like it, totally understand. There's so many of us on YouTube, you can't possibly like us all, right? All right, and then everybody, have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Ready, Avingham? You didn't even talk today. I calypso, I sing to your spirit. Let's go to the next part. Hi, baby. Dee -dee 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 -dee. That's so high. Hi, yo. Moo, 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 moo. All right, guys. Nautical isn't your theme. I get it. Okay. Well, we'll do farmhouse soon enough. I promise. I absolutely promise you they're effing him. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, besties. Bye.